Hola, I'm Elle McPherson and I'm here in Paris working with Harper's Bazaar Spain. So hi everybody. I was named The Body, such a bizarre name, right? Uh, in 1986 by Time magazine and I was surprised. I didn't really think much of it. I just sort of thought, oh, that's a bit of a funny name. But you know, I started thinking and I was, I was saying to myself, maybe I could register that name and create a business around it. And really that's what I've done with modeling is built a brand and a lot of the brand has been about the body. The first time I did runway, well, to tell you the truth, I was about seven years old um, with my mother's sister who was a model. I hated it. I never wanted to be a model. Uh, I wanted to go to law school and I wanted uh, a job that I felt was reliable and stable and had a steady income and was something that I could expand, grow into. I never really considered modeling to be a job that you could have. The most unforgettable moments of my career? I would say working today, because I live in the present. I think that's the most important thing that we have is the present, to be 100% in the moment, right here, right now. And to tell you the truth, for me to be nearly 60 years old, to be working with such an amazing team, uh, and to be shooting a cover for Harper's Bazaar with all these wonderful designers in Paris, in Fashion Week, is like, uh, it's such an honor. Uh, the philosophy with modeling, particularly in the 90s with the supermodels, was the more iconic you were, the more distanced you were from the public, the more pedestaled you were, the more successful you were. Today, the closer you are to your community, the more authentic, real, um, relatable you are, the more successful you are. You know, the fashion business is made by women for women. So it is a perfect, you know, opportunity for us to really shine bright. A, a lot of people kind of may not know that. And probably one of the few businesses in the world where uh, women models make more than men do uh, in their field. And uh, I have found working in fashion and business in fashion has been extremely empowering. I never really knew about love until I had my first son. He really taught me about unconditional love. And that was the first time I really felt that desire to allow him to be perfectly as he was. I didn't, he didn't have to be anything. He, his just pure spirit soul was, um, touched me to the core. So it's been a really extraordinary marriage really between being a model and also being a CEO or a business owner or a founder of a business. And um, times where, you've had, where I've really had to be courageous um, because it's in those steps of courage, those steps where we risk losing everything is where we find our greatness always. The Body in 2023, very different from when I was 23. So it's not just this sort of physical manifestation of a woman who is six foot tall, but it is this 360 holistic perspective on what this body means. My career really took off when I started to lean into my uniqueness and to be um, confidently um, and proudly my unique self. And I, I say that for everybody because that is what makes us beautiful. So I would say to myself, be you, be you.